This is page 505, 11-6, addition and subtraction of radicals, okay? Uh, number two is your basic radical. A lot of people think you might, you know, they're not sure what to do with root three plus root three. Some people think it's root three plus three, which is root six, it's just not the case. The rules are different with addition. And what you need to do here is simply add, if, the, if these are the same, if you have root three in common, then you're able to add the coefficients the numbers in front of them. So we'll get eight plus three root three. What we're in fact doing here is basically factoring out the root three as if the root three were in common, right? So put in brackets, eight plus three times root three. If you think about it, what that is, if you go backwards, what that really is, root three. And that's equal to 11 root three. Okay? But if you look at that and you think about it, what we've really done is just factor out the root three. It's like finding a common factor. Yeah. You take root three out, because you could go back the other way, right? If you want to distribute this, root three times three is three root three, and root three times eight is eight root three, what right? The root numbers That's another story. We'll get to that in a minute. But basically, if these two things are different, you can't add them. Simple as that. They're not gonna combine. You gotta get that basic rule straight. Otherwise, you'll have difficulty. Let's do another question. Let's do number, so five root eight plus 15 root two, this is number nine. You have two different radicals, and so you can't, by the rule, you can't combine these, at least not yet. What's our step? Well, you could do, you could break that down. If you break that down, hidden in that root eight is a root two. So let's break it down first. It'll be five times root four root two, five times root four root two, plus 15 root two. Now, we know what root four is, so simplify that to five times two root two, so it's five times two root two. Again, we're writing out all the steps. Five times two root two, and that equals 10 root two plus 15 root two, and we're back to something that we know how to do because the root twos are the, are, are the same. We can combine them, and we've got 10 plus 15 root two, which is equal to 25 root 2. Alright, so any questions on this? 10 plus 15 root 2 uh, equals 25 root 2. It's number 26, and Chris is just explaining to us what our first step will be. And he's right, we're going to start by breaking things down. And you're right, root of 81 equals 9. Good job. And radical x cubed can be broken down into what? x squared and, and x. Good. So let's write down 9 root x squared times root x. Okay? Do we need to put root 81 times root x squared times root x? Do you want to see that step? No. 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 We know that root 81 is 9. We don't really need to put it down every time, do we? No. All right? So 9 root x squared root x minus what? Root well, x. minus 2 root x, right? Because we know root 4 is equal to 2. Again, the, that's again the need, shows again the need to really know your perfect squares. Okay? So now we're in a different ballgame. Now we're at 9x root x minus 2 root x. And the whole thing just flows like water downhill. There it is, minus 2 root x. And now what do we do to finish that? Will, what do we do to finish that? Uh, combine like two. Yeah, combine like terms. Well, what are the two like terms you see there? Root is x. The root x, yeah. So what, what's our answer? 9x minus 2 root x. That's it. Put 9x minus 2 in brackets root x, and you're done. Simple. Good stuff. Why do you have to do it in brackets? You don't really have to, but it's better because then you see, well, no, you, you see that it's this is a term root x. You know, it's just, that's the way it works. Um, number 30 on page 505. It's part of tonight's homework assignment. And... We look at this, it looks a bit messy, it looks a bit daunting, it looks a bit crazy, we don't know what to do. Whenever you're in doubt, simplify oh. and factor. That's the whole idea, break it down, break it down. So how do we break down 16x minus 16? Factor it. How do we factor 16x minus 16? That's right, so go ahead, it's the square root of what? 16, no, 16 times x minus one, that's right, good job. Plus, how do we factor that? What is the common 25, factor here? 25, 25 and squared. x squared, right. 25x squared comes out. All right. 
and we're left with x minus 1 as well. So there we go. We look like the, it, something's going on here with the x minus 1, right? You can yeah. see it's in common. Now, do you understand that what you can do, what this really says, and I'm doing it the long way, is this, you can break this down into root 16 times root x minus 1. I'm going to get Katie to write it all out, and you need to write it all out as well, right? Root 16 times root x minus 1 plus root 25x squared times root x minus 1 times root x minus 1. Good. Make sure you write that whole step out. It's very important at this stage for you to see that very clearly. Now that we've broken it down and we can see it clearly, everything falls into place. Why? Because what's the root of 16? Four. Good. So we got 4 root x minus 1 plus what? Plus 5x root x minus 1. Quiet back there, Lucas. Plus 5x under root x minus 1. There it is. Now we're not done. What's our last step? 4 plus 5x root x minus 1. There you go. 4 plus 5x in brackets, root x minus 1. Nice job. Again, you're doing real well. What's you doing? Put it in the brackets. Make sure everybody's written that down. Are we keeping up to date here? Yep. Good. All right, any questions at all? We're, these are pretty straightforward. You just need to practice them. Any questions? All right, number 40. Number 40, root 1 half minus root 1 eighth. What's the first step here where you're going to break them down? Root this is the same as, yeah, go ahead. Over root, two. root 1 over root 2, good. Yeah, minus root 1 over root 8. That's our start. Now, you guys know what to do to rationalize the denominator. You do it on each of those fractions. So what do we have to multiply by uh, over here to, to rationalize it? Well, root 8, it would have to be root 8 over root 8. Yeah. So multiply by root 8 over root 8 here. And root 2 over root 2. Exactly. And root 2 over really root 2. Over You're stealing your job. I'm sorry. One minus so you see that? Each of those, you just do what you already know how to do. No. What's this going to equal there? Over here, it's going to be? No. Two over it's two. It's going to be root 2 over 2. Root 2 over 2. No, it's not equal to 1. Minus, minus root 8 over 8. Eight no. over eight. Root 2 over 8. Root 8 over 8. See? Because root 1 times root 8 is equal to is just equal to root 8. And root 2 times root 1 is equal to root 2. What's next? We're not quite done. We've got root 2 over 2 minus root 8 over 8. Let's simplify this first. That's what's root 8 equal to? Root 2 wait, root 2 over 2. What's root 8 equal to? Right. It's root 2 over 2 minus root 4 times root 2 over 8. So that equals. Go ahead and simplify root 2 over 2 minus 2 root 2 over 8. All right? Um, minus 2 root 2 over 8. Just because we wanted to simplify that first. And we multiply by 4 over 4. And we get 4 root 2 over 8 minus 2 root 2 over 8. Now we're almost there. 4 root 2 over 8 minus 2 root 2 over 8. Wow. Can you, Sarah, do me a favor and go tell Priscilla to come and bring all the copies right away. 4 root 2 over 8 minus 2 root 2 over 8 is equal to 2 root 2 over 8. That's equal to 2 root 2 over 8. So we got it all equal to each other and we made it all work out. Because 4 root 2 over 8 minus 2 root 2 over 8, okay, is because you have a common denominator and you have the common root 2s, you can go 4 minus 2 is 2 root 2 on the top, and you have the common denominator that allows you to do so, in the bottom. Yeah, so, yeah, that was a hard question. But, again, to follow it, you've got your basic thing is you rationalize the denominators, right? You know how to do that. And then you've got two different denominators here. All we did here was break down the root h. Just a second. We broke down the root 8 into root 4 times root 2, and that's equal to 2 root 2. And then we've got, we just had to adjust this so the denominators would be the same. We've got to multiply by 4 so that 8 is on the bottom, on top and bottom. And then we've got 4 root 2 minus 2 root 2 over 8. These are common, so you can just subtract the top. 4 root 2 minus 2 root 2. It can be done because these root 2s are the same. And so 4 minus 2 root 2 is just 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2 root 2 over 8. And that's it for that one.